Oh, thanks. I'll get used to this. Where's mine? Oh, I thought you were at school. So I got a free period, what's your excuse? At least I don't hang around the arcades in hot and half the time. <sighs> I hope hey, you look, don't. No, don't, she's lying. Oh, come on, Smudge. Hey, Smudge, come on. Daz? Sorry, I didn't mean to wind him up. Just being daft. I think he fancies you. Yeah, well, he can dream on. Thanks again for this. All right, love. Shouldn't you be at school? Well, I'm doing an assignment from home. So why are you hanging around the village, then? Oh, it's nice to see you, too. Oh, love, I'm sorry. Just ignore me. I'm rushed off my feet today. You know, I've only got 50 minutes for my lunch. I'm dying for a drink. Well, so you've not got time for a chat in the cafe, then? Why? What are you after? I've met a lad alike. Oh, have you? What a bit of advice, do you? Yeah, and for one of your tops. Go on, then. Well, mark my words, Debbie Dingle. Lads, and that's a bit trouble, Jamie. See you later. Not this one. Colleen, you can't do this! Oh! She's still giving you a hard time about yesterday. She's sending the kids to her mum's while she goes away with Sadie. You're going somewhere? Jack Stag night. Yeah, I won't be long. We'll be all right, won't we? As long as you don't bother me, yeah? Jay, Debbie. She's in charge, all right? Ha. Just as long as you speak to Jack. Well, I can hardly avoid it when he's all stag do, can I? But you know what I mean. Good luck, yeah? See you later on. What do you think? Why don't you tell me that Jack hit you? I wanted to get him to invite us to a wedding, but he kept telling me to go away. Yeah, there's no need to worry now. We're not having anything to do with him. But look, I deserved it. I told Diane to drop dead. Why? Well, why do you think? <sighs> there's no need to take out on him, Andy. Look, I don't need a third degree off you, right? All right. Don't bite my head off as well. I just feel like everyone's staring at me all the time. Yeah, well, I know the feeling. I mean, as if what happened with Katie was somehow my fault. Well, it's not. I used to feel like a part of everything around there, you know. Now I just feel like an outsider. At least you're not a dingle. <sighs> what? You've got a point. Hey, you. I thought you were supposed to be my mate. Well, only if you mind. I need all the friends I can get at the moment. It's a deal. <sighs> I'm sorry you didn't make up with Jack. Me too. If only just to get Dad's off my back. Well, he cares about you. Yeah, well, he's got a funny way of showing it sometimes. You know, I'd have loved this a few months ago. How do you mean? I had a crush on you. <sighs> that. What, you knew? It wasn't hard. You used to follow me about, fluttering your eyelashes. I did not. I'm embarrassed now. Well, don't be. I was flattered, really. What would you do if I said I still liked you? Why? Yeah. So, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. No. No, I want to. As long as you do. I always wanted my first time to be with someone special. Do you not feel bad or anything? No. Look, if I'd done something wrong, was I no good? Stop that. I think you should go and put your clothes on. Go to your room. <laughs> 